Hey, peace world. Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. My name is Wood. Man, I'm, I am literally inundated with, uh, with music. Like, I, I don't know, I had some, some stuff going on that, that distracted me uh, a little bit, but uh, nonetheless, man, um, it's some real heat out there. I'm not even going to try to get into all of it right now. This was, I, I told you sometimes I used to do a morning wood video, just kind of a, a little daily check-in, a little, little hot takes and whatnot. And this is more of what what this is about, this video is about. Let me know what you're listening to. You know, Let me know what your favorite project is in the comments. Uh, if you got any suggestions or recommendations. Quick note. Uh... It's a cat that's made a comment on a couple of videos. His name is Lucky. I don't know how to pronounce his last name. I believe his first name is Lucky, though. Um, he asked me about an artist named Mozzie. Um, I checked out the project. It's really not in my wheelhouse. Like, I talk about boxing, and I know a decent enough, a decent amount of stuff about boxing. Uh, this would be like talking about a lot of West Coast music would be like me talking about, trying to talk about the UFC. Um, I, I just wouldn't be the, I just wouldn't be the individual to really do right by it. Um, now I know I've, I've been amazed, I've been uh, amazed at some, some Kendrick material, but he's a little bit more, a little, a little more well-rounded. But the Mozzie Project, I would, honestly, I liked it. Um, but it, I mean, but my, my sensibilities and my interest in music, you know, his production, some different technical stuff with his, oh, he's a hell of a rapper, hell of a, hell of a, uh, lyricist, uh, not a bad delivery. I like his chorus game, knows how to make a hell of a song too. His song making, um, is tight too. Um, there was a few standout joints on there. He remade a couple of, uh, what, a Mario song. And he redid the uh, the Fabulous track with, with Lil Mo. Yeah, so he redid that. So, I, you know, well-rounded. Um, but there was also some serious joints on there that I just flat out thought were dope. I liked how he put the songs together. He's not a bad dude. Not a bad dude at all. Uh, maybe I'll come back and, and mention my favorite on there. Uh, I was listening to it on one of my bike rides. But let me get into today's rundown. Um, last week, I think it came out, the uh, Lord Trilogy. Lord Talk Trilogy. Lord Trilogy by Flea Lord. Produced by, exclusively produced by God Bless Beats. So much of what I'm enjoying as a music, as a hip hop fan, so much of it that's really blowing my mind away is the creativity on the beat making, man. And the uh, the details on the beat making and the, the sounds, the uh, the unique, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm besides myself with a lot of this stuff. Um, four or five decent uh, standout joints on there. Uh, speaking of he, Flea Lord, he had a uh, an interlude in there where he said it was uh, it was actually Conway complimenting or crediting or praising uh, Flea Lord as having the best verse on Juvenile Hell, the single on from King from uh, from King to a God, Conway's latest album. I told you that was a. I mean, how how could Flea Lord? You know that's gotta he he's gotta be beside himself, you know, to, to get that type of credit on a really 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 dope record. So I just thought that was interesting. Um, so that's out there, the Lord Talk trilogy. What came out, and then also last week was uh Only for Dolphins by Action Bronson. I think I'm gonna come back and review that one. I really enjoy that record again. The sound of it, the the uh, the, the, the 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 producers on there, the album making. For now, the sequencing of the song, just really thoughtful uh, hip-hop music. Ah, just a decent record. Obviously, today's big one, 
I know 21 Savage has some of you know, if that's your thing. A couple other cats have some things. But for me, uh, West Side Gun, uh, Who Made the Sunshine? 12 tracks on there. Sounds phenomenal. Um, yeah, sounds phenomenal. This Conductor Williams dude had a song on there. I can't even think of the name of it. Uh, damn, I don't have... It's maybe like song seven or eight or something. And I think it's got everybody on it. Uh, I want to say it's this Frank Murphy song. With Stove God, Cooks, Flea Lord, Este Nag, El Camino. That beat is, is different. I mean, that's just disgusting. But check uh, Who Made the Sunshine. Uh, I saw this quickly. I saw this... Um, Kumo D. I saw him on something and he said he it was some simple beat that he said he used for um, How You Like Me Now. And then he said yeah, a couple of albums later or something, he used the same drum beat or the same pace or whatever. He made the the, 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 the beat with his mouth. And he said, yeah, I just went right back to that and he, and he made another hit. And uh, it's a certain beat pattern that Griselda relies on heavily and when they that's it's in their wheelhouse. I mean, they just get in their bag when when they get that beat, and they do it pretty regularly too. But they, they don't overdo it, but they use it enough, and it's, it anchors most of their projects, and it it really just allows them to really uh, just abuse a beat and punish a beat with, the, with 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 what they rap about and how they rap. Um, shout out to Derringer and um, Beat Butcher tag teaming on a lot of that. Uh, Alchemist is on there. There's another producer that, that skips my mind. I also checked out another project that I'm kind of big on is this Willie the Kid album. And I thought he was from Michigan. And not Grand Rapids? I, I, anyway, he's got a project out called Capital Gains. I've, I've, learned, I've heard about Willie the Kid a couple of times and, and was reading into his backstory a little bit. Seems like a real entrepreneurial type dude, entre a real entrepreneur and proud of it. He has some line in here about how owning a store, uh, wherever he's from, downtown. One of, He said he's one of the few black-owned businesses. Um, so I'm going to check that out. Kind of like the Juno joint from, um, from Shea Noir that was released earlier back in February. He really talks a lot about, uh, he, he throws a lot of uh, self-made, pull yourself up by your own bootstraps, entrepreneurialism. Uh, he talks, he, he says a lot of interesting things that um, make me want to go back and check him out. He's got Ito on there, uh, Rock Marciano, Currency, Action Bronson, this joint called Court Free that's really dope. I like the beats on there too. I don't know none of the producers right now. Uh, but Capital Gains by Willie the Kid. I'm going to check that out. And then I'll check that out. And then also, lastly, Smoke Dizzy is also out, I guess. A joint called Homegrown. I was getting into that one. Um, he, he experimented with his sound a little bit. I got to check it out a little bit more before I speak on it. But it's on the list this weekend, too. I'm hoping to get a ride in. But it's cold as hell right now. And I got rained on and was cold in last night's ride. So I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend. But um, yeah, man, that's Action Bronson, West Side Gun, Willie the Kid, Smoke Diesel, Flea Lord, who, you know, Flea Lord got an album coming out every other week. And um, and there's some, I feel like I'm missing something else or somebody else. But anyway, man, enjoy all of that. Again, my name is Wood. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. How could you have a bad weekend with all of this stuff? If you love music, if you love hip hop, how could you have a bad weekend? You should be able to hide out and enjoy yourself. Peace.